now on YouTube, welcome back. Today we're out in our local Permission Woodland again and we haven't had very far to walk. He's parked right where we're camping. So I'm out with Byron tonight and we're testing out a new tent. Well, not testing it out, I've used it twice already. Hi, right, squad. So I've used this tent a couple of times already, but uh, without videoing just to see what it was like. But uh, yeah, it's class. It's probably my favourite tent. And despite what the weather looks like, it's been absolutely naff. We do more rain. So it is a hot tent. We'll see if we get the fire going later. So this is the tent. It's the Pommelly Chalet 70. I'll put some specs on the screen for you and we'll get this pitched. So get ready to pause. Put specs on it. Is a beast. Pretty cool. Ah. So this is an airframe style tent with uh, a pole at either end and it just uses two guy lines to just tension it out. It's got 12 pegs to peg it out and then uh, once you've pegged the four in the base out you get the the body of the tent put up and then you pull the sides out which gives you a bit of uh, probably a, a gap of about a foot down both sides of the tent where you can slot bags and stuff and keep them out of the rain and shoes and what have you um, I have had the tent out in the rain before with both doors unzipped on both sides and rain hasn't been an issue due to the overhang at the top so cool feature of the tent is with it being an airframe you can have both doors fully open on both ends that's not actually fully open there if we just spin you around it's got even more there it's got its own in stove jack which you have to cut yourself um, it's also got the flap that covers the top of that that zips on from the outside. I'll show you that now. It's got some vents on either side which are covered by the uh, foot deep um, pegged out areas 
which I said earlier. Um, nice easy zips, nice no -seam mesh, and they just tuck away inside there like that, keep them out of the road. Feels like really heavy duty material right through, but the floor and the uh, side walls feel like a similar sort of material. You'll have seen by the specs, everything's seam taped. Another mesh rent on that side. And finally, built in fire protection for the floor. Good stuff. So I'm six foot three. Tent comes up to just below my shoulder height. One of the best things I've noticed about this tent is the fact that it's only 160 odd quid on Amazon at the minute and for that price I think you'd be hard push getting an ordinary tent that's sort of this decent quality without the uh, the option for having a fire in it as well so 160 quid bargain I'll stick a link in the description Maybe. Intriguing. Well, you just you have to smell my feet all night or I'll play footy. Switch your route. Look at Stone Plate. We did that motorbike camp. That was class. Bam. I've got a spare on and run somewhere. Can't turn it on. Oh. Mine's got a switch on the side, it's like the original. Ah, uh, mine's got a switch on it. Keep them mozzies out. So Byron's just corrected me, uh, it's not 169 quid, it's 208 pounds currently on Amazon. So I think there's a prime day coming up in the next few weeks, so keep your eye out, you might get a bargain. Based. Flame green. Ideal. For <laughs> <laughs> the gram. Alright, we got it on camera. Did you? 
Yeah. Excellent. Well, she's done. Hock her in. Serious grand. Well, we're in the tent now. Fire's going. It's ridiculously hot, so we've got all the vents open, the windows open, the doors open, the works. But it's probably going to get cold ish later on. We're full of steak and lamb and sweet corn and wine and beer, so probably see you in the morning. Night, everyone. Good morning. That wind was crazy last night, still pretty wild now. Um, slept alright, kept the fire going till about one o'clock in the morning, so it was nice and toasty in here. We had, I'll show you. We had both side vents open on the door. Just on the one side where Byron was kipping. It, uh, <sighs> yeah, it worked pretty well. Warm enough, breezy enough. Perfect. I'm just using my uh, One Tigress synthetic quilt. Uh, yeah. Job's doozy. A good night was had. That was a Pommelie Chalet 70 belting bit of kit. I'll leave you with the footage of us trying to drive out of the woods. Could be pretty sketchy because it put down a bit of rain last night so it'll be a bit soggy. But uh, yeah, if you got this far into the video, thank you very much for watching and we will catch you at the next one. See you everyone. Ta da! out. Thank you.